What's up guys? So today we're going to be uh, painting the Corolla because I just wasn't happy with how it was coming with the rattle can. It wasn't looking good in person. Um, so I think we're going to go back and we're going to DA the whole car which means we're going to sand it all down and we're just going to shoot it with a quick uh, coat of primer and just make it look halfway decent for at least the rest of the season and then we'll figure out something maybe over the winter again. Of course before we start sanding though we don't want to be sanding all the uh, tail lights and the mirrors and stuff, we're going to start disassembling the car and getting it ready to be able to be sanded and then we'll move on to talk about what kind of grits we're using, what we're doing and uh, how to prep it for paint. Of course it's raining outside because it's Ohio, but we do what we got to do. So I'm going to try and finish this in the garage, but we'll see how well it goes. Probably going to make a mess. I'm going to try and cover up my cars. I'm going to probably wet the floor with the hose to try and keep the dust down so that I won't make such a mess. It's still going to get on everything, but it might help just enough that it won't be too bad and I won't regret it. Alright guys, so it's been a couple days since uh, we finished sanding the car and uh, now we're basically going to be um, prepping the car for paint. 
But uh, of course, before we prep the car paint, we're gonna want to put the uh, we're gonna take the nice wheels off, and we're gonna put on the uh, Celica Super wheels that were on the car that were right there. The car when I bought it. Um, so basically, the, if I actually get overspray on something, it's not gonna be my nice wheels or nice tires. It'll just be stuff that's left over. So uh, yeah, we're gonna throw on the old tires, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so the car is uh, on its little uh, Celica Super rims again, which is again I'm going to use while I'm painting. But I, before I go on, I just want to say that I think 14s on the car look best compared to 15s. I just think the 15s are just like way too big for a Corolla. That's just my personal preference. So eventually I will find 14 inch rims again that look good. But I also want to explain that when you're running a 15 inch rim and you're still running like a 195-60 tire on it, you actually have a pretty huge disadvantage when it comes to being at the stock gearing and the rear end of the Corolla, basically meaning the Corolla has a 4.3 rear end gear ratio. But you can actually kind of bump that up in in theory by running a 14 inch rim with a 185 tire, or sorry, a 185 like 55. So that gives you a small diameter tire but still looks good on the Corolla. But it would give you a little bit faster acceleration because the tire doesn't have to go around as many times to do one revolution. Alright guys, so before we move on though, I'm going to be painting the rims, but before I paint the rims, I'm going to show you what color I'm painting the car so that we can get the, uh, so I can show you guys what color scheme I'm going to run so that it makes the most sense and it's not like, why is he painting the rims that color? Because the color I'm going to be painting the car, most of you guys are probably going to think is kind of ugly, but I kind of like it actually a lot, so uh, I'm just going to show you guys and see what you think. So probably in the camera, this looks, see if I get that in focus, come on. This looks yellow, but it's actually a really nice like cream color, I think because it's uh, against a certain background, it looks, it's not yellow, I promise. Alright guys, so this is more of it being dry, it's like a dark cream, and then I'm also going to be painting the wheels a nice root beer color, or a brown, so that it kind of has like a creamy mocha kind of chocolate. Uh, look to it. This looks a lot better in the light, and uh, I think the car's gonna look pretty good. And it's gonna be different. I didn't want just like another red A86. I want something kind of like um, almost old school, like kind of like a JDM color, just something you would see on video back in the 90s on Ebisu. Just like a weird color, you'd be like, what? And here's the spray paint color I'm kind of going for. So I'm gonna have like that nice. Um, kind of like chocolatey with like a creamy, I don't know, it just kind of came up in my head, I think it'd be kind of cool. If not, then I'll probably just paint the wheels black and just go with the safe bet. But let's experiment and we'll just see how it looks like. So next we're going to prep the wheels for paint. Alright guys, so you just watched me uh, wash the wheels, and then you watched me uh, wet sand them a little bit. And, uh, you basically just wet sand it just to kind of like um, scuff up the paint to give the new paint something to bite into. I think you're able to zoom in a little bit. You can see how fuzzy the paint is now. It's not actually blue anymore, it's like a foggy. That means that you're pretty much wet sand and you're pretty good to go. So now I'm going to attempt to uh, mask all this off and uh, shoot the first coat of paint. Alright guys, so I just finished uh, masking off the uh, rim. I only did one because I want to do just one rim first and see how I like it. And if I don't like it, then I can go buy another color. But all I'm using guys here is just, I bought it at Walmart. I'm going to get the focus. It's just furniture paint. That's all it is. 
I mean, paint is paint. I mean, yeah, some stuff's gonna last longer, but it'll probably last longer than what I needed to. I'll probably end up changing it eventually. Uh, another good investment is like one of these uh, like spray can grip things. It basically makes so your finger doesn't hurt after you start spraying. It basically just, hold on a second here. It just clips on top like that. So you have like a gun like that. You don't actually have to hold the button anymore. You can just uh, press the trigger and go. These are usually like seven dollars or something like that at AutoZone. So I suggest picking up one of those. But yeah, we're just gonna throw a quick coat of paint on the uh, first rim over there. Of course, we're gonna clean it off with wax and grease remover first, and then we're gonna see how it comes out. So it looks kind of red, but in person it looks pretty brown. I think once I take the tape off and not. Uh, the paper it might look a little bit more brown, so I'm gonna unveil it, see how she looks. It looks super red on camera, but trust me, it's brown in person. I think it's just the lighting, but I'm honestly like really happy with that. It looks like I don't have a ton of like overspray on the chrome. Looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna let this one dry and then we'll move on to the next uh, three. Alright guys, so I just finished up uh, washing the car down, basically I just wetted it and then dried it with a chamois. So now I'm going to go around and start masking it and then uh, wax and gr grease removing it as I go. We're using acetone, something to clean the surface as good as possible before we get it ready for paint. So we're going to start off at the back and just start masking and taping and uh, covering the windows. Alright guys, so almost everything's masked up. I'm going to wait until I get the car into my final position before I do the driver's uh, door window and the, the main windshield. But I've got all the cars new, the supers pulled out, everything's out of the way. I'm going to try and get the Corolla like right here so I have the whole garage for overspray to kind of stay down and at the minimum. So I'm going to start moving the Corolla around and try to get it in the correct position I want it. Nissan Select Prime 2K. It's a urethane primer. In beige. <laughs> beige. Why is it so loud, dude? Who really cares about the Indians? They suck. Alright, anyways. Uh, the paint we're using to paint the car is a uh, Select Prime. It's like a urethane based primer. And you have to activate it with an activator. So I think it's like, was it 4 to 1? So it's four to one is what the ratio is. So four parts so to one of here. this. Four to one. Four to one. Where do you see that? Right there. What did I say? Four to one. Move your finger. Don't you have the better eyes? Yeah, four to one. <laughs> four parts paint to one part. Okay. So we're gonna start mixing our paint, and then we're gonna get out the gun, and we're gonna start shooting some primer. 
just like mustard on my camera. Look at it. this. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that episode. I think it came out pretty good. I, mean, I really like the color. It's a little more yellow than what I wanted, but just gonna have to live with it. It's way better than being like five, six different colors, so hopefully this video is a lot better quality than the last couple videos I've been putting out. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. I always appreciate it.